Coming up next, it's a flyweight title fight between Alexa Grasso and Paige Van Zandt. So here is the UFC superstar Paige Van Zandt. She's about as classy as it gets. Injuries have become part of the narrative, at least recently here. She'll try to get on track here tonight. Yes, Paige Van Zandt is a star, right? The magnetic personality, the big smile. She lights up every room she steps into. She's just a person that you want to be around because you know she's exuding happiness. But that's until she goes into an octagon. When she gets into an octagon, she is nasty. A fighter's fighter, a person that's willing to go out there and just let it all hang out. Even in defeat, you see the toughness of Paige Van Zandt. She had a huge win by submission over Rachel Oskovich. That was January of 2019. Seems to have the arm injuries in check. We'll see how it goes for PBZ here tonight. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials, and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything given to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Both fighters are 26, with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. The main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Ben Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Undisputed UFC flyweight championship of the world. If you the first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, presenting the challenger. 12 gauge Paige Bazan! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed US. Champion of the world, Alexa Grasso! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. Striker versus the decorated grappler. A lot of people have compared this matchup to Amanda Nunes versus Ronda Rousey, and I think it's probably an appropriate comparison. Yes, it's very appropriate. Because you remember, Amanda was always creating space and never being where Ronda expected her to be. So she needs to do the same thing. She's such a high-level striker. She has such a diverse... Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, big left. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see what? You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. My goodness! Just over 20 total strikes. 
strikes, which have connected for Alexa Russell. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh! Back to the feet. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Now goes in and secures the takedown. Stand up now, both fighters upright. And there comes the separation now. Van Zant gets touched by that kick there. Just over two minutes to go. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice, sneaky head kick. Again. Back into this position. Big punch land. Boom. Van Zant gets in the clinch yet again. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're going to get hit here between rounds, she better start raising that goal. She's got to start doing something. It's a testament to her opponent. Throwing so many strikes, she's being so accurate with everything that she's throwing. Oh! All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Oh! Yes. oh. That horn signifies the end of the round, and quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body, but the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. Big knee to the body! Down landed clean! 59 total strikes. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Ooh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Van Zant's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. All right, full guard now, DC, and just because she has the working on a guillotine. Nicely done. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. Well, she... Oh! could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight, to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. 
So there she is, folks, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, and she couldn't have drawn it up any better than this, a knockout to leave with the UFC gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexa Grasso! All right, so when it comes to the women, she's still the class of the 125 pounders. And man, you know, I don't want to say that it's going to take a massive effort to dethrone her, but she seems to be the head of the class and by a pretty significant margin. Right? Yeah, she seems to be far ahead of the pack. And every time you step into that octagon with this champion, you understand that you will have to be on your game or you're going to be turned away. Tonight, she turns away another worthy challenger and remains a champion.